All right. So um, here is a simple React component. Uh, that just uh, it is a row. This is just some styling, uh, and it it renders a person's name. And so let's say that we want this name to be editable. So how do you do it in React normally? Well, like if we want to add an input there, we need to, uh, to turn this component into a class, add some local state to it, and let that state drive the input. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, that's what we do today. So I'm going to do the export default class grading extends React component. And so I'm going to use only stable JavaScript syntax. So constructor props, super props. This, the state. I'm going to initialize a name to marry here. And I'm going to declare a random method and copy and paste this. And so I want this to be, uh, instead of just rendering the name, I want this to render an input. So I'm replacing this by an input. And the value of the input is this, that state, that name. And if I make a change, I want to call this dot handle name change. That's going to be my change handler. And I'm going to declare it here. When the name changes, we call set state like we normally do. And we set the name to e dot target dot value. Right. So now if I edit the okay, so I I need to bind uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, I need to bind the event handler. Okay, so now I, I can actually edit it and it works. So a familiar class component as uh, if you work with React, you probably write a lot of those. But let's take a step back. What if we didn't have to write a class when we wanted to use state? So I'm not sure how that's going to work. Uh, but I'll just start with what I know. I want to render an input. So I'm going to put an input here. And the input has a value. And that value is the current name. So I'll just pass name. I don't know where to get name from. So it doesn't come from props. Uh, I'll just declare it, and I don't know. I'll fill it in later. Um, so it's going to have a change handler as well. So I'm going to declare on change handle name change, and I'm adding a function here, takes an event, and then here I want to tell React to set the name to something. But again, I'm not sure how to do that from a function component. So I'll just call something called set name with the current input value. And I'll just declare it here. All right, so these two things, they're closely related, right? So one of them is the current value of the name state variable. And the other is a function that lets us set the name state variable. And so because these things are closely related, I'm actually going to put them together as a pair of values. So I'm going to get them together from somewhere. So where do I get them from? From React local state. So how do I use React local state from a function component? Well, what if I could just use state? And pass the initial state to specify it. Let's see if this works. Yeah, it works. <laughs> 